Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Rat Kutarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising. Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th, 2018. And while I'm doing the shuffling, I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Sagittarius Star Sign. This is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will explain the meanings of the cards in their representative positions. I will explain the synergy in between them. But it falls to you to make a sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. So, if you want me to do that for you, this is a, a subject of personal reading. And to do so, check out my website listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, as it is the end of the summer, there is a, a summer end sale going on, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute sale, making it for a total of 40 minutes. So going to the tarot spread first. Now the first card here is about the topic of your Sagittarius this week. The second card is about the core of the situation. Third card resembles to the challenges that you have to overcome and the last card is about the guidance that you should rather follow or what guidance Tarot offers to you for the duration of the week. So let's see what you got Sagittarius. Now the first card that is going to be the Knight of Wands. So that is the topic and as a topic this is a very inconsistent card. <clears throat> Now, first thing is that, car, that this card points that you will kind of have a abnormal curiosity, should I say that way, and um, eagerness to make experiments, uh, experiments with your relationship, experiments with your job, with your friends as well. In general, this is going to be a very, very carefree week. In which week, however, you Sagittarius should kind of maximize upon trying varieties of things and varieties of methods. That is very important. What is important as well is that as soon as you find which method works for you, um, then capitalize on that method and stop trying different ones. This is because the Knight of Wands, it is a, a very momentum based card. It kind of gives you this um, vitality, should I say that way, and uh, a drive, you know, to find a way through of your predicaments, you know, or, or of your projects, of your relationships, etc., etc., but also at a certain point, kind of uh, dramatically, kind of lose momentum. It's kind of like it it goes away just as sudden as it comes around. So it's very important to capitalize on this week, as I said, to use this um, these time of of carefree opportunities and uh, carefree behavior on your behalf as well. You know, to uh, kind of find your way of how you need to push forward a certain undertaking or how you should mesmerize a certain person and then throw them so you can have a prerequisite to make a relationship moving on forward or to impress them as well you know or you know how you should uh, kind of find new people to make friends with very uh, situational car and now one thing I want to point about this card is that as it is very inconsistent this card points that it will be rather not favorable for you to make flirting you know and to um, kind of involve yourself into brand new romantic relationships with people that you barely know because this card as inconsistent points that there will be a lack of interest moving on forward into the future so this person is interesting to you right now you're interesting to them but in a couple of weeks that interest will fade away and nothing else will remain therefore it will be good if you kind of give yourself a time to get to know that person a little bit better before you decide should you involve yourself in a relationship or should you not do that the the next card which is the core of the situation here that will be the tree of wands so for what it seems this is going to be a very productive week because the tree of wands as a core of the situation points that the um, the results 
uh, of uh, of your previous efforts not in this week but of your previous efforts are exactly as the way you have expected so this week your results or oh, this week the results that is going to previous effort give you will be exactly the way you have expected and therefore uh, you will have that eager and urge you know to try different methods and to kind of like experiment and uh, experience you know different stuff stuff that you are rather unfamiliar with and in most cases you know have no clue about um, that could speak for total swap of, uh, of job criteria for example today you are an IT specialist tomorrow you can be a financial advisor etc etc so these couple of cards points that nothing is impossible at this particular week should you have um, the um, the energy you know to find your niche to push it through and the three of wands it's uh, it's a total synergy in between what you're doing you know and what the results are uh, in general so this week is going to be rather very favorable for those who are into a, a very stable relationships either romantic relationships or uh, personal relationships with friends and co-workers etc etc but the very core and the very profound meaning of this card points that you have placed yourself a, a challenge previously probably in the recent past and you are dealing quite well and that's why you have been rewarded with varieties of ways how you can capitalize on the results of that challenge <clears throat> being um, being conquered and the next card is the challenges that you have to uh, overcome here we do have the uh, six of pentacles so a little bit of a contradictory to the knight of wands this card points that you should be rather more creative and yeah, the Knight of Wands is about also about creativity, but we do have here a um, premeditated creativity, while the Knight of Wands is more like a spontaneous creativity, all right? So what will be difficult for you here is to go along with the current. And as we said that as soon as you find which method works for you, you have to establish yourself there and capitalize on it. This is the current. This is the normal flow. And uh, it will be hard for you to kind of hold down your horses, you know, and to just move on to that direction because you will have that yearning, you know, to explore even more opportunities. Let's give you an example with jobs. You know, you may find a, a good job for yourself, but yet you may have the eager, you know, to search for another job. Therefore, not taking the deal they are offering to you, uh, kind of hoping that a, a better one will present itself. And as I said, the Knights of Wands loses momentum very fast. And, uh, and in most of the cases, the momentum drops straight away after you have found your, um, your niche. And unfortunately with this card, you know, you have only one opportunity to kind of catch your niche and capitalize on it. If you kind of bypass it, I'm afraid there will be no chance for you to turning back and taking the deal. So it will be very important here uh, again to recognize what your capabilities and limits are. All right. And the core is what you are expecting. All right. Because this is the human nature, guys. I mean, you have one expectations, you know, but seeing that things are unfolding, are unfolding better than you have expected, uh, you kind of, we people lift our expectations and suddenly we become unsatisfied with our previous expectations. So that is why it's very important here to know your limits regarding your your uh, romantic partner, regarding your uh, job performance, you know, and regarding life in general. The Six of Pentacles, it's also about resolving uh, some old issues that may emerge beneath the surface. So this is what you may have difficulties with as well. And kind of understandable because this week is not going to be about settling down of all issues, guys. This week is going to be all about exploring, as we said. And you will have no time whatsoever or a very little time whatsoever to deal with ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend, to deal with, um, you know, with uh, the... Um, the constant murmuring of uh, of your family member that they for example want to see you because they haven't saw you in a 
couple of months or maybe in a couple of years and they constantly bugging you off when you're gonna come home you know to just look at each other etc etc so yeah you will not have time for shenanigans this week and that is kind of a good but uh, yet if you find yourself a, a free time it will be very beneficial if you kind of uh, at least attempt to resolve those uh, old issues which are carrying on even to this day and the last card that will be the co the uh, guidance we do have the wheel of fortune which kind of amplifies tremendously the uh, knights of wands because the wheel of fortune is as well about opportunities and what and this card says only what only couple of sentences here it says that the luck is on your side don't waste it you just don't waste it so what the week expects from you Sagittarius is, is to be very active sitting on your butt at home in front of your computer in front of your television uh, and self-pitying yourself is not gonna help you all right it's just if you are searching for love the love is not gonna come and knock on your door all right you have to find it and you will should you go out and start dating people all right or if you want a job the job is not going to present yourself through a commercial on t on on tv you have to start applying you know with um applying for a job and looking at these cards you know the applications could also vary not just in the field that you have worked thus far but maybe you have to try a, a different field field of career so that being said this was your weekly tarot and uh, tarot reading guys now let's go to the Lenormand one which is going to show us a uh, event that you that you should either look forward to or try to avoid Alright, so let's see what we got. Now the first one is the stork, which the stork stands for delivery and a new era. Then we do have the book, which stands for a document, or it stands for a, a secret as well, knowledge. <clears throat> and the last one, this is going to be the heart, which st stands for commitment, and it stands for for love so uh, the commitment doesn't really make much sense unless it's a uh, a new beginning of a secret commitment you know this is uh, what the card points but what I do believe that this is going to manifest in for the most of you you know is that this is going to be a delivery of a secret love so you will come to knowledge that someone loves you and this love may not be a romantic love all right this love could be a, a friendship love it could be as well a family love you know one how, how two siblings love one another or how two family members love one another etc etc the very least guys you will have no clue until this very moment that that is true and now this is going to be um kind of um a proven to you so <clears throat> that being said Sagittarius this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again this is just a, a general reading for Sagittarius star sign I explained you the meanings of the cards their positions and uh, their synergy but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you then you have to go for a personal reading and to do so please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings Rod signing out now see you next time bye